Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory that is due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wahabraka Kodash, Barakatam. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who were well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news, in all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe that may look like one of the other 17 heathen nations. But if you go back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino slash Hispanic, a so-called Native American, slash similar Indian, then you are in fact and indeed an Israelite if you could perceive it through the spirit. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the Aquaf, which are the sisters that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the children that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. Okay. This is Brother Karataza and I'm back with another video epistle in Lord Willing. It's edifying to those of you who may come across it. Okay, so the lesson that I'm doing today is because with all these prophecies jumping off and everything that we're seeing going on, this so-called white man is about to get his ass kicked, man. All right? And it's prophesied in the scriptures. All right? Uh, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, woman, and child, uh great ass kicking is coming to you man all right so with that you know i was gonna start with uh in second Ezra chapter 16 because it's a i got uh it written down with several other precepts but i want to go here to a precept that i didn't write down that i was it was on my mind all right uh this is going to be the book of obadiah chapter one and we're going to go uh uh we we'll start at verse 6, and the point is in verse 7. It reads, How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? All through the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Shem Shai, pouring out his spirit upon certain men to reveal this devil via going out on the highways and hedges, all right, uh, via doing these uh, sit down lessons, okay, throughout the week. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him yet. Those that America, all right, these Edomites give money to every year, and they're going to turn on you. All right. And they had a they, they were confederate with you against the nation of Israel. All right. The apple of the heavenly father, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai's eye. Let's grab that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83. And. um, Yep. Let's start at verse one. A song or psalm of Asaph. Keep not thou silence, O Yahweh. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O Yahweh. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and have consulted against thy hidden ones. All right, the Israelites, they, they, they have said, Come, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee. So, so, and it goes on to show, it says the tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab, the Hagarines. Edom are, is the so-called white man. The Ishmaelites are the so-called Arabs of Moab, the so-called Chinese, and so on. Okay? So, when it says here in the book of Obadiah, chapter uh, 1, and it was in verse 7, it says, all the men... All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. Yeah, they're going to turn against you. All right? Hey, you about to get your ass kicked, man. Y'all going to be crying, man. 
crying like some hoes, dog. Let's go here to uh, 2 Ezra chapter uh, 16 and verse 1. All right, and we'll read a couple verses. Woe be unto thee, Babylon, and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt, and Syria. All right. It says, woe. Woe means destruction. Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Be well your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. Yeah, you. we are about to, you Edomites are going to get destroyed off the map. All right. After you do your thousand year hardcore slavery in the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be here on earth under the rulership of the Edomites, you're through. Hey, and we're going to crush and grind you other nations, too, that were confederate. Y'all going to get y'all ass kicked, man. All right. Uh, but y'all get to go back into y'all own lands. But we still going to do y'all dirty and greasy, righteously. All right. Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Bewail your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. All right. And we at the we can see it, man. All right. Hey, what does it say here? Also in uh, Second Ezra uh, chapter nine and verse one, it says, "He answered me." Then the angel Uriel answered Ezra, the prophet Ezra, and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of science which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest." will begin to visit the world which he made. So, hey, if you can measure ha'ayf karataza, all right, measure the time diligently, then you can see that this devil's uh, destruction is at hand. Uh, back in uh, 2 Ezra uh, chapter 16, uh, verse 3 now. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? All right, these plagues are sent upon you. Hey, ICBM uh, missiles are going to be sent upon you. Hey, and there's nothing, there's going to be nothing you can do or anyone can do to turn it back. All right, a fire is sent among you and who may quench it. Plagues are sent unto you and what is he that may drive them away? All right, uh, plagues, you got food shortage, which is going to lead to a major famine. All right, you got all these wildfires, all these floods. All right, the brother in my camp, uh, Nawak, he put me up on this app, uh, and I get alerts all throughout the day. Uh, 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 it's called, damn, I forgot the name of that app. Uh, it's it's like whenever it's anywhere in the world, whenever it's like a volcano eruption, a flood, uh, tornadoes. Uh, it, it just sends you an alert, like it's an email alert. You know, it's a notification. All right, so that thing popping off daily. All right, it escapes me because he just, I just like recently downloaded it. Okay, uh, plagues, verse five, plagues are sent unto you. And what is he that may drive them away? All right, nobody is going to uh, drive it away. Jumping down to verse seven. May uh, may one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong or archer, the mighty Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shites and the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? Nobody. All right. Verse 11. The Lord shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence. Hey, yeah. And remember who it said. This is talking to you. Nations, all right. First, it said Babylon, starting with you uh, over here, modern day America, who runs this place, the Edomites, all right. The and, and per, uh, ultimately, the uh, the um, I was about to say, <laughs> the elect of the Edomites, the elite of the Edomites, all right, which you are elected to be the elite to go into captivity first, all right. So, uh Kind of with that, we're going to grab, let's go here to the uh, book of Revelation, uh, chapter 18. We'll start at verse 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lighted, lightened with his glory. All right, now this is John Revelator. All right, he's 
seeing these visions, okay? Uh, and he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and it's become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. All right. And this is not talking about ancient Babylon, which is known as Iraq today. OK. Verse three, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Anything that has to do with Esau's system. All right. Whatever you can name, these nations have copied off of the dress codes, the building codes, uh, the Moism. Uh, just all wickedness, man. All right. And they have fully been confederate and taken part with the whore. Uh, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies. All right. Hey, they, 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 they wax rich off of the sweat, tears and blood off our backs. All right. Uh, it tells us that the, uh, there, there are dogs that uh, licked our wounds, man, in uh, St. Luke chapter 16. Okay. Uh, the pair, not, yeah, the Lazarus and the rich man. All right. Lazarus being representing the Israelites and the rich man representing uh, the elites of the nation of Israel. Okay. Uh, and I heard another verse, Salakia, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, that ye receive not of her plagues, meaning come out of her ways, man. All right. It says the book of um, Proverbs chapter three in verse 31 says, envy thou not the oppressor. So come out of her, come out of her religions, her false religions just all the wickedness, uh, all right? It's not talking about physically leaving this place, okay? It's talking about come, being untuned to the spirit of uh, this devil, Esau, Edom, okay? Uh, and it says that you receive not of her plagues, a hey, the sword, the famine, all right, the dogs that tear, the ICBM thermonuclear missiles, all right, the cannibalism that's coming here, all right, plagues are coming, man, all right, we want that cloak, that hedge, this is a warning, verse 5, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High Yahweh have remembered her iniquities, the Heavenly Father Yahweh by Shema Shai, he don't forget nothing, man, all right, nothing, he created everything, the only chance we got a snowball's chance in hell, which that's just a figure, figurative of speech. Hell is not a place where you go to burn. Hell is a condition. We're in hell right now. Uh, all right. If you don't have, if if you you, the only chance we got is if Yahweh by Shimei Shai give us mercies, man. All right, and his mercies are renewed every day. We have to take advantage of it, okay? We receive benefits every day. We have to take advantage of it and appreciate Yahweh Hashem Shai, man. All right? Hey, it's a brother in my camp. You know, he, uh, a couple weeks ago, and I was just like, wow, that is so profound. So like it for rambling, I'm going to finish these scriptures out. But he said, he think, his name, Aina. He said, he thanked Yahweh Hashem uh for every day of his life that he have received mercy. All right. And and Lord would and Lord continue to give him mercy. And I was thought that was deep. He said, like, if you would have read the uh, text he put in group chat, he was thanking the Lord for like from the day one when he was born before he even knew. Before the Lord, how about Shimei Oshai even allow him to know the truth? I was like, that's so deep. I be doing that now. I be going back in my memory lane, thinking how about Shimei Oshai for just mercy, man. Every day we didn't know we was receiving mercy. All right. Uh, verse six, reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works. We're going to do that, but in righteousness, all right? 
Lord willing, were the first, first fruits. In the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. All right. And then, you know, I got uh, I got to highlight all this now here. But in this device, I didn't have it uh, highlighted. It goes to uh, tell you how they're going to weep. These nations are going to cry because they're not going to be making money off America no more because it's going to be destroyed. All right, so uh, let me get a couple highlights in here live while we're doing this lesson. Okay, uh, so I got a couple more precepts because you're going to get your ass kicked. America, modern day Babylon, and you're going to cry. All right, like the hoes that y'all are. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, and verse, uh, let me see, yep, 30. It reads, the mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. Yeah, your military, tough guys, your, 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 your police, tough guys, your biker gang, tough guys. I hate you motherfuckers, man. I hate all you Edomites, okay? Uh, they remain in their holds, all right? The elite are going to run and hide. You low-level Edomites, y'all going to take the brunt of this shit. Their might have failed. They became as women. And what are women? When they get scared, bitches and hoes. Everybody on there, even little kid. Know. Okay, here's a test. If a motherfucker about to kill you and you got the chance to call the police and uh, that police can save you, who you want covering, a man or a woman? I'll leave it at that. All right. Uh, they have burned her dwelling places. Her bars are broken. Y'all going to be scared to fight. Let's jump over to Jeremiah 49 and 10. No, nah, not uh, 10. Uh, yeah, verse 22. Behold. He shall, Jeremiah 49, 22, behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings over Basra. And at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pangs, man. All right. Y'all ain't mighty. Y'all ain't tough. Bitch, without that sword, that gun, we'll tear y'all ass in half, man. All right, so let's go here. We got a couple more precepts. We'll close out. This is going to be the book of back in 2nd Ezra, this time, chapter uh, uh, 15 and verse 18. All right, and it reads, For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid, all right? Because you're going to be getting your asses kicked, all right? So, um, with that, we'll grab one more precept, and we can close out with this. This is going to be the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, in verse 14, and it reads... The great day of the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is near. It is near and hasteth greatly, even the voice of the day of the Lord, Yahweh. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. So you, uh, you, 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 uh, you, you hate the Israelites, you dislike us, you want to hurt us. You want to kill us? Okay. But guess what? Something is coming to you, and I'm reading it. Okay. That day is at verse 15. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and, and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, man. Look at all the, I don't know, you know, look at all the adjectives that was described. That day, all right, and the mighty man shall cry, even of all the nations, okay? All the so-called tough guys of all the nations, including ours, is going to cry. So you know what? Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to those of you who may come across it. 
Once again, I want to say, Kohala La Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Waha Raka Kodash Brakatham. Once again, I want to get double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Muslim who well, who taught me this truth, all right, and who labor in this word. Uh, once again, I want to give peace and blessings, all right, salutations to the, my fellow laborers, the Akim that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news. So with that, I want to say, a ball, a ball, and shalom.